So this is the root stew. It has a combination of very good rice and, and mayokaba beans, rutabaga, yams, and a purple potato. It's just plain delicious. It's gonna be the base for what we're gonna be doing today. This is a purple cauliflower, brand new from Sprouts. Let's open it up. Now it's unique because of its color. See, beautiful, rich, vibrant. Now you need to get rid of these leaves there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this on, on the stove top so I can show you how to incorporate the two meals together. Or maybe cauliflower and root stew. Come and watch how we put this together. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm washing the cauliflower. And while I'm washing it, I'm gonna take it apart. Now, I don't eat these leaves, though some people do. The next part, once it's kind of washed like this, is I'm gonna separate it from the stem. So the flowerlets will fall into the strainer. So now we have all this. I'm gonna stick it back into the strainer. It's clean. And we're going to get our pot. Now you see this, this debris? I'm just simply gonna do this to it and put it in the pot. There's nothing wrong with it. Let me get the pot. All right, so the setting is on high right now. Now what I've done is I've put in this large two quart saucepan. I've put in very little water at the bottom of it. And what our plan is today is instead of boiling it in water like we did in some some of us uh, Brussels sprouts I do we're gonna steam this so we're gonna take our remains just put them in the water then we're gonna take our cauliflower and you see how little water there is I mean it's not even covering so what we're gonna do is we're going to let this come to a boil with the cauliflower in it and those extra long pieces on this burner the glass one, we're going to deep frost the root base so that when this is ready, which will be ready fairly soon, then we'll combine them together. Now, all I'm waiting here for it to happen is for it to boil. So of this entire saucepan, a quarter of it is water, okay? All right, now on this side, you're just gonna open the envelope. And I've learned from experience that I am not lucky at saving the envelopes. So what I do is I just tear them open. They've done their job of keeping my food until I'm ready. And sometimes you can break chunks of it off. Now if I had vegetable stock right now, I would put that inside of here and I'd have a good base for this stew that I've created. But instead of that, I added barely half a cup of water into it. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn up this stove on. And we're gonna put this on high and when it starts melting more, then I'm going to reduce it. Now, because you're running two things at one time, it's best if you stay in the kitchen. Now, I'm going to put the cap on here. I can get that to cooperate. 
just so that it'll melt a little bit faster. This is already getting ready to, to boil. When that happens, then we set the, the timer for 15 minutes. And as soon as we see that, then it'll be ready. I'm just gonna put this little piece down there that I had made originally. Now it's been a few minutes since I last saw you and already what has happened is this has collapsed upon on inside the, the, the saucepan. So now we just have to wait for the, now remember you're not recooking this. All you're doing is defrosting it. The, the gas on high, as soon as it starts melting. Okay, the cauliflower is now steaming. Now we're gonna put the cover on top. We're gonna reduce the heat to, to low and here, on the other side, right here, where my hand's at, what we've done is we're, this is still on high and it is still defrosting this, this frozen stew. Now as for the cauliflower, there's a lot of cauliflower, so only a portion of that will be used for my lunch. Okay, when you're using these glass type of uh, saucepans, you have to keep, you have to stay in the kitchen and you have to s keep stirring it because it will char your food, your, your food that you're uh, you're trying to defrost. Now, I've already moved it from, I mean, or low, because most of it is now defrosted and ready to be used. We have 10 more minutes to go on the timer for the cauliflower. The next step is to drain the cauliflower. The timer just run. Take your saucepan, remove the cover carefully, and just carefully push. And you can also see that the water that comes out of it is purple. Well, all right, so once it's drained, now move your purple cauliflower to your plate. And what we're gonna do with these, store it real easy, keep a plastic container around. Before you put this away in the refrigerator, let it cool a little bit. So we'll leave it there. And because you turned on the stove range, make sure that you, you turn it off, your, your range is off. The next part of this is to put your delicious stew. Now maybe that's too much for some of you, but you know, when you eat mostly vegetables, this really helps. So that's the plate. So here you have the the stew with um, rutabaga, yams, and purple potato, maya koba beans, and long grain rice. Over here we have today's feature, which is the purple calif uh, cauliflower, and this is a this, uh, a plantain apple dessert, a complete and delicious meal for me. Thanks very much for watching me put this meal together. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.